Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Nails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today we'll continue our playlist about bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous video, I have talked about the difference between petechiae, purpura, and ecchymosis. Today we'll focus on petechiae. I'll let you know everything you need to know about this subject. Those teeny tiny microhematomas or microhemorrhagic spots on your skin. They could be red, blue, or purple, something like that. Why? It's hemoglobin. What's the most common cause of petechiae? Thrombocytopenia or thrombosthenia. With that being said, now let's get started. As you know, thrombocytopenia is decreased plate count. We have two types, pseudothrombocytopenia, which is not an actual thrombocytopenia, and true thrombocytopenia. Pseudothrombocytopenia is fake, and everything here starts with a P. Pseudothrombocytopenia occurs in the purple top test tube. It's purple, it's gonna interfere with platelet and coagulation factor function, leading to platelet agglutination. This shape is counted by the stupid butt machine as one platelet, in fact there are eight platelets. How to prevent pseudo? Use a different test tube or order a peripheral blood smear. Here are the causes of true thrombocytopenia, and in fact they are the causes of petechiae, if you think about it. Treatment of petechiae depends on the underlying cause, and it's the same kind of thing as the treatment of thrombocytopenia. Clinically, thrombocytopenia can be asymptomatic or superficial bleeding. Superficial, not deep, superficial. It can be skin bleeding or mucosal bleeding. Skin bleeding such as petechiae purpura ecchymosis. Small, medium, large. In all cases of superficial bleeding or thrombocytopenia, there is no deep bleeding, therefore no heme arthrosis, which are bleeding into joints, and no late re-bleeding. These symptoms are only seen in secondary hemostasis defects, such as hemophilia. Organization, organization, organization. Petechiae purpura ecchymosis. Let's talk about the similarities and then the differences. Petechiae purpura ecchymosis, the similarities, all of them are subcutaneous hematoma. One condition can have a range of different stigmata. They have the same underlying mechanism, which is a disruption of the vessel wall or platelet function or clotting or coagulation process. Subcutaneous hematoma is a bleeding, and bleeding contains blood, and blood contains hemoglobin. Hemoglobin will give you the red slash blue slash purple color that you see in petechiae purpura and ecchymosis. Causes of petechiae purpura or ecchymosis, thrombocytopenia, why disruption in primary hemostasis, trauma, why disruption in the vessel wall. Petechiae purpura ecchymosis, small, medium, large, 1 to 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter to 1 centimeter, more than 1 centimeter. Associations, thrombocytopenia, thrombasthenia, bone marrow failure, coagulation factor defects, primary hemostasis, secondary hemostasis. Purpura, same thing, we'll add some stuff. Ecchymosis, same thing, we'll add some stuff. Now let's focus more on petechiae. Definition, small, red or purple skin spots due to a minor bleed from a broken capillary. Hashtag disruption to the vessel wall. It's a subcutaneous hematoma. By the way, one to two in diameter, not radius. It's not an engineering class. Get your head out of your compass. In fact, thrombocytopenia starts as petechiae in the distal aspect of the lower limbs. So when you see small, tiny, teeny purple dots, it's probably thrombocytopenia. Causes trauma, non-infectious causes, and infectious causes. What's the mechanism? You bleed from those teeny tiny capillaries, bleeding leading to subcutaneous hematoma. Subcutaneous hematoma contains what? Blood. Blood contains what? Red blood cells. Red blood cells contain what? Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin will give you the red slash blue slash purple color of those teeny tiny spots called petechiae. By the way, petechiae is a plural. What's the singular? Let me know down below in the comment section. Causes of petechiae, trauma, non-infectious and infectious. So trauma could be mild or life threat. Mild like what, like cough. Coughing can lead to petechiae, yes. If you cough a lot, it can rupture some teeny tiny capillaries, leading to subcutaneous hematoma, leading to blood, contains red blood cell, contains hemoglobin, give you that red slash blue slash purple color. Same thing crying vomiting, holding your breath when you're like playing with your buddies, weight lifting, same thing, can rupture some capillaries, childbirth and sunburn, or it could be life threatening, such as constriction by a tourniquet, which could be, it depends on where the tourniquet is, and there is a test called capillary fragility test, and asphyxiation, of course, strangulation, asphyxiation, this is life threatening. Non-infections such as vitamin C deficiency, known as scurvy, B12 
because you need the famous vitamin C in hydroxylation of the collagen fibers to make them strong. So if you have no collagen fibers that are strong, you have no blood vessel that's strong. You'll start to bleed, bleeding, subcutaneous hematoma, bleeding contain blood, blood contain red blood cells, red blood cells contain hemoglobin, and you get the idea. Vitamin K deficiency, it's a disruption in the clotting factors. What clotting factors? Two, seven, nine, 10, protein C, and protein S. Thrombocytopenia, big time. Coagulation factor deficiencies, ITP and HSP, which is Henoch, Schonlein, Purpura, and Leukemia. Infections such as congenital syphilis, CMV, cerebral malaria, endocarditis, dengue fever, mononucleosis, infectious mononucleosis, Neisseria meningitis, Rocky Mountain spot fever, scarlet fever, strep pharyngitis, and typhus. Now, this slide is hard and it's not for the faint hearted. PTK on the soft palate could be streptococcal pharyngitis caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococcus, also known as scarlet fever in some cases. In scarlet fever, you have, let's review some medicine and infectious disease. Palatal PTK, yes, we've just talked about this. It's an infectious causes, cause of PTK. Strawberry tongue, circumoral pallor, and facial flushing. Petechiae on the posterior, also known as soft palate, can be infectious mononucleosis with exudative tonsillitis complicated by group A beta hemolytic streptococci. And if it's mononucleosis, you're gonna see splenomegaly, baby. And you're gonna see generalized lymphadenopathy. Viral pharyngitis, not bacterial this time, but viral, such as the herpes simplex. Shallow ulcers on the palate, small vesicles, because herpes loves vesicles that ulcerate. Those are vesicles and ulcers, not petechiae. And this herpes is gonna be usually on the hard palate because it has the keratinized epithelium. Okay, so let's differentiate. How about mononucleosis? You have petechiae, but an HSV you don't have PTK, you have vesicles and ulcers. In case of mononucleosis and the strep pharyngitis, you have the PTK on the soft palate. In case of herpes, you have it on the hard palate. That's a very teeny tiny distinction in medicine. By the way, if you already know this, you're way ahead of the game. Maybe I should be learning from you. But if you can say and have the audacity and the nerve and the chutzpah to say that I can differentiate between infectious mononucleosis and herpes simplex just by the physical exam by looking at the palate, you're a moron. You still need the labs, you still need the rest of the history and physical, you still need the culture. Get your head out of your sphincter. Petechia on the junction between the hard and soft palate can be caused by thrombocytopenia. Why the junction? Because it's a vibrating line, okay, when you speak. So, it's more liable to minor trauma. Minor trauma will lead to bleeding. Bleeding will lead to subcutaneous hematoma. Subcutaneous hematoma contains blood, blood contains red blood cells, red blood cells contain hemoglobin, and you get the idea. Strange but true. All of these are causes of petechiae, all right? And if you understand the main concept, trauma leading to petechiae, because it leads to bleeding, leading to subcutaneous hematoma, which contains blood, blood contains red blood cells, red blood cells contain hemoglobin, hemoglobin gives you the red slash blue slash purple color. So all of these, these are not that common, but they are so interesting. Maybe I should write some scripts for movies because this stuff is great. Now, please, first things first, don't assume that these are the most common causes of petechiae, okay? You're still gonna look at thrombocytopenia, get your head out of your sphincter. This lecture is all about the movies. Medical legal significance of PTK in forensic medicine. How does the judge slash police detector slash forensic pathologist know if the victim died because of strangulation or any other condition? Answer, PTK. How come? Let me explain. You know, all of your blood drains into veins to your heart. So blood in your face or your head drains from upwards going down from up going down why because the heart is here what happened when you block here the vessel veins are gonna be engorged and congested with blood they're gonna enlarge then blood is gonna extravasate called blood extravasation 
leading to bleeding, leading to subcutaneous hematoma, containing blood, blood containing red blood cells, red blood cells containing hemoglobin, hemoglobin contain, give you the red slash blue slash purple color in the face and everything that's higher and above the level of the heart. You can see petechia in face, conjunctiva, sclera, eyelid, and oral mucosa. This is due to asphyxiation due to strangulation. So, if the state attorney is making the case in front of the judge, Your Honor, the victim died because of strangulation. If the judge is an expert, he or she should ask just one question. Did you find petechiae? The answer is yes. I arrest my case. Case closed. Now, why don't your professors teach you like this is something beyond me. Thank you so much for watching. On my channel, I have a playlist called Medical Jokes. I have another playlist called Medical Mnemonics. And there is a website called Picmonic. See the link in the description. These guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. You can get all of my notes and all of my cases by going to patreon.com slash medicosis. They are available for download and they are yours forever. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. Smash like and share because sharing is caring.